passions welcome back to my channel welcome back to my office welcome back to another video my gears are winding down it's almost my bedtime i'm gonna try to do two more videos i'm trying to get caught up here um and then it's off to betty bye because tomorrow is a busy day i'm out to make my money um yeah so please do not forget to comment subscribe hit that notification bell so next time i drop another video you'll be there to pick it up all right all right thumbs up if not it's okay angela is not for everybody but i'm for me i am my cup of tea all right and i try to be for my god too but you never leave me nor forsake me like a man do um yes y'all so that video i just dropped oh my god it was a long one but jasmine clean up your house clean up your act okay i mean if chris truly loves you you're gonna run that man away with all that shenanigans you got going on over there you gotta gain some strength girl grow some balls okay i borrowed chris's because he ain't using them that, that much that well um yeah so i did a video explaining to you guys where i have been what's been going on with me however i information was in there that shouldn't have been in there that i you know um blocked out however i i i, I I did not know that I'm not supposed to click off the video once it's doing its thingy thing thing. And I did and oh my God, I gotta do this shit all over again. You know how long it took me to edit that shit? That's why I don't like editing. It takes too much damn time. I just don't like it. It takes too much time. But um, yeah, so we're going to do the video um, for some reason, internet. Here is working, but over here it's not. I don't know what the hell's going on. This needs to be donated to somebody, like wiped off clean, and I need to replace this ASAP. Okay, but um, yeah. So when I do a video here, once it, I'm a hundred percent sure it's uploaded to YouTube. I gotta just delete it off of here. Can't have nothing on here, and I can't move around the house with this. I gotta constantly come downstairs. What? motivates me to do some work <laughs> yes 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 yes. that's a positive i'm coming down here my cats get to see me get to spend some time with me they get to love on me or i get to love on them and they hear my voice they see my face and they're calm and i'll hear them meow meow or moan 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 yeah so today's garbage day and also their litter day so i've got to finish up here take out their litter take out all the garbage around the house and put my garbage um out yeah i'm gonna take my shower and go to bed after i'm done with all this so let me try to do two more as quick as possible so I don't know why that is not working right now. It's not picking up my Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to, I hate doing it on my phone. My phone, when it times out, I have to, I have to like reconnect all over again. So I don't worry about that right now. Liv's life, they surprised me with this. Um, oh, I gotta catch one her too, but not right now, not right now. All right, let's go. Legendary might need a helmet. Come with us to find out. Well, I guess you guys really know how this ended. Um, but I'm catching up, so. Why would 
would Jasmine be giving her children beverages, but she have her fingers inside the glass? Why? Did you wash your hands? We know how Jasmine, Jasmine is. Her washing hands is just under the water and she's done. Like she doesn't take a good 20 seconds rubbing her hands, you know, correctly. You know, to make sure that her hand, her hands are properly washed. And she had her freaking fingers inside the kids' glasses holding it to bring it to them. Don't you have a tray? I have trays. You want one? Always have laundry to do. That's annoying as hell. Oh my God. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So today, I am taking Legendary to his appointment to get the circumference of his head measured and well, Jasmine, I must say, baby, when I watched this, I was like, thank you, Jesus. She finally listened to all of us that the baby head was not shaped right, that there was something wrong with the legend's head. I hate the way she spells legendary. Like, can't we do anything just appropriately? Oh, my God. And I decided to bring you guys along with me. For big girl Jasmine have no butt. None. You want some of mine? Because God knows I'm trying to get rid of it. Full circle is sustainable home care. Cleaning tools, organization, composting. I don't like how when people leave their baby on a sofa or on a bed unattended because you'll never know when that child just oh i think i'm gonna roll today bad enough the baby's got like you know his head is already ain't right like you're trying to do more damage jasmine ladies please put your child on a low surface if you have if you don't have a playpen that is out in in the living room or in your office or your cloth office, wherever you, you're you going to be for the time being. Do not leave your children on the bed unattended or on a sofa unattended or any high. Biden sent troop back to Somalia. Why the hell did you send a troop back to Somalia? You already bombed the damn place already, killing civilians. I tell you, America, when it comes to, we are warmongers. Jesus. Can I get your butt off the camera? Massage that scalp, y'all, so that hair can grow. Y'all might have alopecia, so it feels so uh, good. Better when my husband's doing it. Feels so good. But my husband does it. Oh my god! Okay, so I, kind of I go right to sleep. Much about what we're doing. So legendary is getting. Like I said, the circumference of his head measured just to see if he needs a helmet or not. It took a long time. So this is the only location that they had. Y'all, I'm and crazy. The most <laughs> soonest appointment. It was Don't probably, mind me, okay? Probably in for about a month. I feel so I'm good so today, y'all. Just don't know the past couple so, of days. Oh, my yeah, God. Me and him are going. Only two people are left. Tired. Of course, we got the twins. So Chris has to stay at home with them. And so we're all going. It's just me and the baby. But... God, it is literally almost an hour. Why, why is that Chris is never at these appointments? I mean, I know 
there was COVID, but all the rules have been pushed back, relaxed, or removed. So Chris can be with you. Okay? I mean, is it on a day the kids are at school and it's just the twins? I don't understand, Jasmine. Why do you all, why are you always hustling with these children by yourself? I mean, this is important. This is important. Every moment of a baby's doctor's visit is important. It's important. I'm like, honey, my baby daddies didn't miss an appointment. Okay? One missed the birth because he was terrified. When I say terrified of hospitals, oh my God. Even the birth of his son help that situation but it's scary how terrified he is of hospitals i mean he like if he's gonna die and take him this gonna save his life let him die he don't want to go i don't know where that comes from or what happened in his childhood for that to be so traumatic to him but yo and and the funniest thing my son his son scared of hospitals and doctors okay blood oh my god faints just like that just like that and I'm like you son you gotta overcome and I did not know this until he got older you know so blood when he was like teenage years you know getting into teenage years and going to a doctor and everything that i figured out at that point but the doctor thing and hospital thing is not as bad like his dad but yo whew, man it didn't stop him from coming to see me when i was in the hospital in the hospital but it did take a while for him to come see me um at the worst stages of my stay i did not see him until like um, you know, the week before I got released, he started coming around. Uh, man, phobias are crazy. Jasmine, before you get a tummy tuck, before you do anything to your body, And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just trying to be real because, girlfriend, y'all should see what I got going on down here, okay? So I can focus on this, okay? But having surgery, cutting myself almost killed me. And so I, I, I'm scared now doing that. So I don't like, I'm not going to bother. I'm not doing it, I'm not touching it. Because now I'm scared. And I'm still driving. I'm now 18 minutes away, so... Just go drive. Go past this. All right, you guys, so we made it, and it is um, 9 o'clock, so I got 30 minutes to spare, but I want to go in there early just in case I have to fill out paperwork. I'm going to say this. I know a lot of people were saying, like, oh, my gosh, she won't go get her baby. She's a horrible mom. Jasmine, always worrying about what somebody's saying. What about what you're saying? Don't you think, didn't you stop to think that your baby head was not properly shaped? Didn't you see it, Jasmine? Did it take for us, the viewers, to say, I know I've said it, that baby head is flat. Like, it, that baby head is not right. She like a damn broad cone, okay? I didn't say that, but I did say the head is flat. There's something wrong with the baby's head. And I'm also saying, once again, for the umpteenth time, there's something wrong with the speech development, okay? I, I should be on lots of goo-goos and gagas over there and a lot of, you know, trying to communicate at this point in his six months going on seven months or over seven months going on eight months of life. So this is not, I'm not trying to be funny here. I'm not trying to embarrass or shame or belittle this woman and her child. I'm being for real here. I'm being a mother right here. It should not have taken this long or for us to constantly, okay, propel our word conveying to her over and over and over again 
that there's something wrong with your child's head. You're paying too much attention to out here and not paying much attention to what's going on over there. Y'all, honestly, it just, the appointment was scheduled. It was spin scheduled. And um, I wish I knew more about this when it came to the little ones, only because, well, when it came to the twins, I didn't know much about this. I actually had to look up research. I researched information on the helmet, and there's nothing wrong with a helmet. Honestly, the twins' heads were a little flat in the back, mostly Ava, because it took her a long time to walk, but eventually it shaped out by itself. And I mean, it probably would happen with him still, but the doctor wasn't really too much concerned. The more information I found got me more curious. If a doctor was not too much concerned about that baby's flat ass head, Jasmine go see another doctor. Cause that baby's head was way too flat. Let me tell y'all something. As a Jamaican growing, as a Jamaican, Jamaican mother, Jamaican grandma, Jamaican myself. When you have a child, it is pressed upon you and you are taught, okay? Growing up to stretch your baby's limbs, you hold them upside down. Yes, by the legs, stretch them out, take the arms, you hold them up by the arms, okay? You take them and you take like, like in the, call them paper diaper, cloth diapers, and you use it to shape the baby's waist. As you tie the nappy, call it nappy, nappy. You tie the nappy, run the baby gut, run him belly, tight run him belly. For shape out him guts, him not have big navel and big blood clot belly. Okay? And you take the nappy and you tie on him blood clot head, so it don't look like that. <laughs> These are things my mom taught me. When I had my first child, my mother was right there. Move, move to the way, move, move, move. Give me grand pit me, give me grand pit me. Let me show if you take care of him. Let me tell you something, my, baby, my baby's first bath was my mom. She was there for their first bath and I better not give them their first damn bath. Not me or their daddy. She hold it. She will hold that shit against the day me or her die. Okay. I'm serious. She coming in, she take that baby and she show me how to stretch, even hold the baby's neck, stretch the neck, how to massage the baby's shoulders. I mean, how to, you know, be gentle with, with, with the little soft spot here, how to take care of, um, any dry, flaky skin or scalp, how to clean the tongue, how to use pee to clear thrash, and I mean, all of that, all of that. She comes in and show me how to use, and I better buy me some damn cloth diapers too. I better not have all only pampers and huggies up in that mug. I better have some damn cloth. As a matter of fact, she bought the cloth diapers and the pins with the duck, you know, um, had to put the, the the pointed part in to close it with our duck or the teddy bears or blue birds or whatever kind of animal that, that they choose to throw on there before it was just a plain old white, you know, head. Like seriously, my mother? Oh, hell no. She shows how to, 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 to wrap the head, how to swaddle the baby, how to carry. Be up in it with my breasts, take it up in it, put it, give it a beer beat. I'm gonna say, like, like, girl, what? Painting my ass. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, seriously, she showed you how to shape, how to shape the head, how to just, you know, massage your baby, not to play with the feet, not to play with baby's cheeks, because, you know, you play with something. It, it, she said, well, Jamaicans think you play with the cheek. They get like fat cheeks and stuff like that, you know, how to shape the nose, show them how to shape the nose, you know, like a lot, a lot of stuff. Like my mother was there for everything with every child. How to proper warm the bottle, how to make sure the water's not too hot for baby's skin, what um, to use for rash, for thrash. I mean, for every damn thing. And Jasmine, you just, and I, and I got that down pat after my first damn child. But she was for the second, the third, and the fourth. 
She sure we, we moved her in for the fort. <laughs> like, no joke. No joke. <sighs> wow, my mommy. I love you so much. I so appreciate you. Thank you for my life. Thank you so much. Research all the lessons family, learned. My ancestry. But I kind of pushed the issue. I was like, you know, now that I did more research on it and I know more about this situation, I'm going to... Jasmine didn't push no damn issue. If Jasmine doctor said, you know what? I don't think we need an elm. I don't think too much for the baby's head. Jasmine didn't have that kind of mentality that she said, oh, you really think so? It, th that doctor did not, did not say that and she did not push no issue. That doctor was like, you know, bring the baby in and let's get him, you know, measured and, and do run some tests and let's, let's go from there. If I tell my doctor that I don't feel a certain way or something wrong or whatever, whatever, He's going to say, well, Angela, come on in. Um, well, not him. You know, he will ask me to do a Zoom call and he will talk to me and he will have me. I have all my little kit at home because, you know, I need it for work. So I have my little nursing kit at home and I have everything, every freaking thing. And I'll do my own, you know, vitals and stuff and, you know, Zoom call out, tell me vitals are fine. But if he feels like I, that he can't really tell me what's going on looking at me, I need to come in. I need to come in. You know? But if he feels like, you know, well, what you're telling me, you know, I'll just put a right prescription for da 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 he'll do, he'll do that. So doctors don't, you don't go to doctors with problems and they tell you, oh, you know what? It's a baby. It's kind of okay. He's not really concerned for me. You know? I mean, if something mild, you like you go in and they see you, and they may say, well, you know, I wouldn't be this word. Like a cholesterol a little bit elevated. That's, I wouldn't be so concerned about it right now, but try to do exercise, watch your diet, you know, the st stuff like that. So what well, she's in the crock of bullshit. Y'all believe that? Oh, I have to push the issue. Child, please. Now, sometimes you do have to push your doctors with certain things. Okay. Cause a lot of times doctors don't really listen to your ass. When it comes to a baby and the pediatrician, and when they get you in the office, the more you come in, the more money they make. Now, you may get there and they neglect the care because you're already there, you're gonna have to pay them anyways. So you may get there, okay? They're never gonna tell you not to come. They're gonna tell you to come. But when you come is what they do while you're there and after you leave and during your visits, before you leave, that's what matters. Okay. They almost killed my ass. So if you're not advocating for yourself when you're in there, kick, because they just want to get you through the door. Once they get through the door and you sign in and they see you, that's money, baby. That's money. After they get that money, they don't really care that damn much. They're not going to tell you not to come in. Okay. Guys, be an advocate for your own care. Listen research, learn, and know. You don't have to be a doctor to know when there's something not right about you that needs to be fixed. And when they start pushing you away, don't have it, do not settle, push back. Go ahead and just go and get a second opinion, which is actually from the place, which is called Cranial Technology. So um, they focus- Oh dear God. Why did Jasmine just go say where where she's taking the baby? Why does someone go pick up the baby's records and look in there and see more than what she is saying? Like, Jasmine, your baby may be a baby, but he's entitled to his privacy. He will grow up. If you want to spill your gut about what you're doing, spill your gut. This damn girl can't keep her mouth shut for shit. Yes, you're trying to be transparent and be all out there and be honest and be real. You ain't got to be all that real. Like, what if someone calls and you know how these damn people are out here on YouTube, how they can get information? Oh, come on, girl. 
leave some things, some things are best left unsaid. And why are you dressed like that anyways? Go go buy you some damn clothes. Why are you out with your child looking like that? More on that face all the time about yeah. jazz. If he gets a helmet, so be it. He's I can't fix it. At the end of the day, he's still a precious little baby, precious little soul. I still love him to death, whether you got a helmet or not. Okay, <laughs> but we like. Jazz, are you feeling some kind, some kind of way talking about baby's helmet? Are you feeling some kind of way because if you weren't feeling the way, you wouldn't have to express that you don't feel the way. Go in. I have this paper because I had to figure out how to get here, y'all, and um, whatnot. But I'm about to call Chris and let him know that I made it. Hi, Tikavug. You ready, baby? You ready? Oh, the smiles. It's starting to ring, y'all. So I need to hurry up. Sorry, y'all. I had to go wash my hands. I scratched the bottom of my nose. I don't know why the bottom of my nose right here is always itching. I think it's from wearing masks all the time. I get all these red rashes here. I get all these dry stuff down here and around here. I have to wear a mask sometime for 12 hours a day. Suffocated. Uh, I could have brought the stroller, but it's fine. I was really going to just carry him by himself, but it's fine. Is Jasmine pregnant? Look at that belly. That girl looks pregnant to me. Either that or her shorts is just too damn tight. I don't even know. I just think it's so much better to just have the damn stroller. You know? Just have that way the baby can be elevated in the stroller. He's not plopped on the damn floor looking up at you. Like, oh God, you can reach over and take care of the child. You need to change his pampers. You can put a, towel, a blanket over him and change his pampers without anyone staring at you. Like, and this constant balancing side to side. And it's just crazy. Yes, so much Love me a stroller. It's a long ways to walk without a stroller. messing with their hair oh my goodness my is coming in but yeah um my phone wasn't locked it wasn't i like lost service on the way here which is so crazy but like i said i'm about to take him out they want him to take him out just to say be <laughs> look at him you know he's so cute he looks so nervous you nervous baby you're gonna get that damn camera out of my oh, freaking face baby. 
Why am I on the damn floor? Why am I down here? Looking up your crotch, maybe. Up your damn nostrils. Why? Well, wearing a mask. He's so stinking good. And he looks so cute. He looks like Buzz Lightyear. I'll put the picture of my hair of him. But he looks so cute. That's a chunky monkey. Um, I couldn't film in there, but I was allowed to take a picture. So I took a picture for y'all, and of course for his daddy. Y'all don't take it the wrong way, okay? They just run, that's why I said it. Chunky. A chunky baby. <laughs> He's a little chunky boy. Say hi, guys. Always, oh, baby, all up in the damn camera. Oh my god. Trophy kid. Big boy. Babe, I'm trying to walk in, y'all. I keep. Their walking isn't working, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of push y'all down. I'll let you guys know the update on Stinkabug here in a bit when they come in. They said it's gonna take a while. I hate that name, Stinkabug. Out, so. Oh my god, so I can't stand it. Now. Oh, hi, Daddy. You look so cute. Hey, hey, baby. Got that nose. I, uh, I think he's got the nose. I'm about to try to log in real quick, so I'm gonna put his shoes on too. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna insert the clips when she's talking so I can get an idea of what everything was said. Oh, that's okay. You'll get a report today too, and I'll just take home with you. Okay. Um, so that's why you see, you know, some bulging in this frontal area. I, that's what I was concerned about, uh, too, uh -huh. that part. Yeah, and then some flattening over here on this, uh... On the other, other side, side, yeah. Yep. Okay, let's look at some other views. This one, and this one. Likewise, he doesn't look too bad. He's got a decent amount of length. Mm -hmm. He does have some sloping to his head, so you can see how his forehead wants to go up this way. Mm -hmm. And then in this view, you can see just the angle. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. how it is on the back side. Yeah, and you see how it's a little higher here on this right side? Because it's flatter. Mm -hmm. Again, the volume has to go somewhere, so it's going to go up and forward. Okay. So here yeah, you can see that. Yeah. So I can tell mm -hmm. that this is his favorite side to lay on yeah. right here. Yeah, so this um, right side here is coming forward a little bit. And that's what the sticking out part. So I've um, it's not so much the, well, the sticking out per se, but where it's going forward this way. Okay. And then we'll be again. And there. Okay. So there you can just see one more time right there, that flat spot. Yeah. So I do recommend a helmet for him. Okay. Uh, what he's showing me, the area of his head is going to grow at the same rate as this area. Mm -hmm. So it's going to just continue to grow. To grow this lopsided. Yes. Sorry, say that. <laughs> no, sorry, honey. We love you, but... <laughs> it's a little lost. And that's okay, though. That's what we do here. We can just write it out. Yay! Yay! Um, so in terms of severity, he's not quite to this severe range. I would put him right here. In the middle, mm -hmm. yeah. He's a little flatter than this moderate baby, but he's not quite to severe. So right here in the middle. Okay. Okay? So here, and what is it called again? Uh, moderate severe plagiocephaly. Okay. Yeah, and you'll get to keep this book with you. So he is going to get a helmet. It's going to take three weeks to, for him to get one. Um, also, he is getting, he's going to have to come back every week after he gets helmet to shave the cushion down as well. She explains everything in the clips of, which I just saw. But, um, she also said, like, you know how a lot of guys are telling you to shape his head, meaning to mold it? They don't work them in that. So, if your kid has what legendary has, do not do that. She said they do not recommend shaping. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, shit. Jasmine has to return back to that facility every week. And as she stated earlier in her video, it's about an hour away from her home. It's far. Will Chris be going or will Chris be taking turns with stink bug taking him to and from his appointment? Will he be participating in his transformation of his head and a transportation of him getting back and forth? I hope so. Because I, I don't understand why Chris is not there with you to support you in case it was some kind of dramatic news, you know. Um, when it comes to a doctor telling you that you can't chip baby head, that's a damn lie. That's a lie. 
Like a doc would tell you any damn thing to get your money. They want you to come in. They don't want you to stay home and fix your own problems. They want to try to money, fix it for you. Okay? Which they never do. Which they never do. All they do is milk you. Okay? Shape your baby's head damn self. Um, the reason why I did not interrupt Jasmine while she was speaking, because I do believe it's very important um, for a lot of parents out there that may see this and may encounter the same um, situation as legend uh, to know that, you know, it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. All right. Just see the problem and go take care of it. And, you know, that's the step that Jasmine shared and how you guys can seek the help to um, help your child so they're not mocked in school for their head being different or looking, you know, just looking different or them looking abnormal. Um, so I think I, I thought it was very important that we saw what she was doing, what was going on. What I did not like is that Jasmine put the doctor's business out there, the conversation. You know, we, we, we sign, there's a, there's a reason why we have HIPAA, okay? Information between the patient and doctor. And not because you're the mother and legendary is not old, old enough to speak for himself. It still doesn't give you the right as a mother to disclose his information. Oh, some report, someone commented, I keep thinking, my notification on my computer is over here. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking that. But someone just commented on a video I just post. But, um, you know, you've got to keep certain things private. Doctor's information are between them, the patient, the facility, and other doctors that may need that information to further treat you in case they have to send you out. Okay? Um... But Jasmine did not need to, you know, for us to hear what was going on in the background, to know exactly what's going on in the baby's head. We know what's going on in the baby's head. She could have stated the name of his condition outside of the doctor's office or when she gets home and when she gets, when she, blah, blah, once she gets home and further shared the experience with us. I just believe that certain things, you know, just is better left unsaid because Jasmine, Jasmine needs to realize that this stuff that she puts out here she can erase it but other people have already watched it watched it or saved it or um screen you know videotaped it or whatever it, it doesn't go away it does not go away But somehow Jasmine feels that she has the right to always overshare things that sometimes it's not in her right to do. Like she goes out to restaurants and there's people in her videos that are not bl blurred, blurred out, blur, blur, blurred out, <laughs> that are not blurted out. They are, you know, um, information or conversations in her videos that we should not hear. But anyhow, she just allows us to hear it anyways. Like, you can be sued for certain things, Jasmine. Okay, you ain't got shit to give anybody. What is that? What is that? Is that my, what is that? What's that flashing like the zap? There's an alien in my damn house or something? Do I see that purple light? Hmm. Um, Jasmine, just shut up. Shut up, because you don't know. If you knew anything about what the hell is going on with Legend's head, you would have been there, done that. Okay? Shut the hell up. Just God, man. You know what you're talking about. 
You have no idea what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong if you as a mother or a dad or a grandma or an auntie and them tries to fix the baby's problem. Now, if you try it, you're not succeeding, then yeah, go. But you didn't do a damn thing. You didn't even care enough to go see. We had to perplex your peace and stress you the fuck out for you to say, oh my God, you know, let me go take a generic. Let me go make sure the baby's out. Oh, oh my God, they keep talking about it. I want to shut them up. You did this for us, not for legendary, not for you. It was up to you. You wouldn't have never been taken that. You would have never taken that, that step. It's seven months, seven months, seven freaking months. Now, guys, you know, earlier I was telling you my mother talking about the neck thing, stretching the baby's neck and stretching the arms and roly poly -oly and roll it back and forth and get the shoulders up and get... I didn't do all that, but she did do all that. <laughs> you know, but the neck thing. She always told us to make sure, you, you know, stretch the neck and get the head, put the nap here around the head and all that stuff. Like, why after four children and now legend... Jasmine did not know to do these things. Why? Why? Now, I did not see this video maybe like about five, excuse me. I saw this video up to the part, up to the point where she was in the car because I was working and I was taking my break and I had to, Use my navigation to go find some food and, you know, um, all of that there in them. And I was on my phone making some phone calls. So I didn't really have time to. I just saw, like, the introduction to it. And I saw up until the point of her about getting in the car or about to get in the car. And that was it. But I'm telling you that for a mother who have now five children and you don't know how to do these things. You don't know how to see things that are just alarming and, and kind of not, not right to make you think like what's going on and to go see about it. There's something wrong with you and you want a number six. You want another child. Crazy. Like I said, come out of the There's something wrong with that girl. How am I shaped? So, oh, and then you gotta come every week, y'all. Every week after that, which is crazy. But we are about to get ready to go. Um, I was filling up the paperwork and it's just so much, y'all. Let me get the baby in this car seat and I'll be back with y'all. So I also forgot to mention that um, they're gonna reach out to me and let me know the cost of everything and if our insurance covers anything. But yeah, yeah, we're about to leave. Um, so they, they will call me and schedule the next appointment after the insurance goes through. They say it takes a couple of days. So. So hold on. That's weird because when I go somewhere. When I make an appointment to go do a CT scan or, or rheumatoid arthritis place or gastro place or wherever else I go, wherever the hell I, I go, if I don't feel like there's something, if I feel like there's something right and it ain't right, if, if, I feel, if I feel like there's something wrong and it's not right, the first place I go is to my doctor's office. <laughs> then he will tell me, okay, 
just to just to get your neck. He knows me. He knows. He knows. My my doctor and I are like best buddies, like best friends. Like okay, Angela, I'm gonna write your referral and send it to X Y Z. Okay, and when I get that referral, that referral that I get is because my insurance company says okay, that facility is within our network, so you can go. Okay, and within my doctor's office. I don't do none of this researching for any damn thing, honey. They have people that does that for me. Okay. Uh, Monica is her name. Monica would, yes, yes, I know them all by name. Monica would go and do her research to make sure that that doctor I need to see outside of my primary care doctor, that they're in net, net, they're in network. God, man, am I stuttering? Oh my God, my mouth is so damn dry too. That they're in my network. I get my referral. I go home and within, within a week, I'm getting a call. Sorry, I had to burp. Within a week, I am getting a call asking me to verify my insurance. They will either tell me, okay, we've, we've got in touch with your insurance company and just wanted to verify everything with you and you've been approved or when would you like for your, for your next appointment to be? They always verify the insurance first to make sure that they're going to get paid. And they also want to make sure that I have a copy of my referral, even though one was sent to them as well. And if it so happens that I have to call the facility to make the appointment, what they do is ask me for, yes, that insurance information because they're going to charge the shit out of them. And I got to pay a damn thing, maybe $22 and that's it. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't bragging. I'm just lucky. I'm blessed. Okay. I'm blessed. Cause honey, I used that shit up. Okay. Insurance company don't like my ass. But anyhow, um, they get my insurance information. They run it with me on the phone. Okay? Or they tell they'll call me back because we need to verify insurance. Then they either make the appointment with me on the phone or I'll call you back and say, okay, if, if my insurance doesn't work, I can't be seen. I can't. So, as to Jasmine saying that they're going to have to, you know, get the cost for everything and see if her insurance covers everything and yada, 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 yada. Why was not that done beforehand? They should have known. Like, why, why are you leaving without your next appointment? They should have known beforehand if insurance is good or not if they're going to get paid or not. Uh, you should have verified also, because I, mean, I always do, because I ain't paying nobody. Nothing I ain't got to pay. If I feel like the insurance is not verified, and you're just trying to get me up in there to get my money, mm -mm, not happening. You, bet, you better check the damn insurance and let me know. So... I don't see why she's got to get wait wait for an appointment, get a call back, see the bill and all that stuff. That's just that don't sound right. So we are back at the house and honestly, I'm in Amaya's room. This is the only quiet place that I can film this. I will keep you guys updated with legendary what happened to her clothes? I thought she had an office in her closet. Oh, they must have brought the desk out to the living room, huh? Um, help my situation and keep you guys informed. Of course, we're waiting on insurance to clear it, so everything's up in the air. But anyways, I wanted to come on here, you guys. Jasmine, why is everything up in the air?
why why Let you guys in on a little secret by this Instagram boutique. So this is a black owned business and the Instagram is I don't care about that. My boutique is free people and Victoria's Secrets and North Thrums and Mesa. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's it on that. People, not everything needs to be said to everybody. Um Tierra and TV. Ooh, new truck. Mm, not clickbait. Oh, girl, I'm going with the tiaras. Bye, Jasmine. Bye, y'all. Be best, be bold, be beautiful. But most importantly, be the best you. Be in love with you and be in love with your God. Okay? Do that, do that, do that. Girl, I feel so good. I mean, y'all just don't know. The past two days, I felt drained. Did y'all see my videos I posted yesterday? I was so pale. Oh my God, I was like, I felt like a, a weeping willow. Okay, um, barely pushing it. So I'm glad I feel good today. I'm gonna go see what T got, Lady T's got going on. I'm gonna tell you, please do not forget to comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So next I drop another video, you are the first to pick up what I just dropped. And y'all think I live alone, I'm this damn happy. Oh my God. But I'm trying to make up for the past two days, okay? Because I was, your girl was just not feeling herself, okay? I was like, <laughs> I need some energy. Hey. Whew, I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get on my get on my knees to pray. That's how tired I was. I just kind of like to kind of put my help my elbows on my bed. I couldn't even get on my knees to pray. I was so tired. But thank God, glory to God, that I am here. I have some energy. I can just. You know, get on my knees tonight because I did not do it this morning. But, guys, thank you so much. You are so appreciated. Your time is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you stuck with me this long, you're the bomb. You're the bomb. You're the bomb. And whenever I hit a thousand subscriber, whenever the hell that is, I have a beautiful giveaway to give to someone, okay? As a matter of fact, you're gonna tell me what to get you, okay? One lucky person, one lucky person, and there'll be a limit. There's gonna be, a, I love gifting people. I really do, it makes me feel so good. But there'll be a limit, maybe a Victoria's Secret card or a free people card. Or it may be a Bed Bath & Beyond card, or it may be some cash. And I'm not, and I'm not talking about no damn $50, I don't no damn $25, okay? Um, so thank you guys so freaking much. I'm gonna go see what Lady T's got going on. Okay, and I may just react to her video while I'm watching her video. Passions, thank you. Bye. Bye for now. Did I say it? I sure did say it. Thumbs up. Please do not forget to comment, subscribe. Yes, I did say all that. I sure did. I'm just so giddy. Ah! <laughs> Bye.